So the news this morning is that Citra, the popular 3DS emulator, is now widely available for Android via Google Play Store. Uh, I had a look at the specifications this morning on the website, the link will be in the video, and they recommend, at minimum, a phone with a Snapdragon 835 processor. Now, I don't have a phone with a Snapdragon 835 processor, but what I do have is an absolute beast of a gaming phone, the Huawei Mate 20X, with its 7.2-ish inch screen. Um, this doesn't have a Snapdragon 835 processor. What it does have is a Kirin 980 processor, which is made by Huawei. In theory, it's more powerful. So what we're going to do is get Citra installed, uh, get it set up, get some games on the phone, give it a test and see what we end up with. Um, should be interesting. First things first, we're going to want to install Citra on the phone. Go to Google Play Store, search for... Citra Early Access, and we want to install Citra Emulator. Um, there are a few clones available, worded slightly differently, as in Citro 3DS Pro. Uh, but this is the one we want. Install. And then... And there it is, guys, on the home screen. So once the files have been copied, open up Citra. It will then take you to a directory listing where you can select where your games are stored. There are the games. Select directory, and here we are. So if we click on Super Street Fighter, See the frames per second is currently two frames per second. Super Street Fighter Four. Well, for a second I thought we were going to be running at close to full speed, but now we're back down to 9 frames a second. 3 frames a second. Oh, okay. So, in the end, it quit itself. Let's try Super Mario Brothers 2.
So the internal resolution is set to its lowest. <coughs> um, increasing it will improve the quality of the graphics, but will have an impact on performance. Considering the performance we've got already is pretty abysmal, there's not a lot we can do there. So performance-wise, there's not a lot we can do to improve that. I think it's just a case of I think it's just a case of this emulator not being configured to support this processor. So I think it's a case of these processors just not being supported by this emulator. So unfortunately, if you're interested in playing Citra on your Android device, then probably stay away from something that hasn't got a Snapdragon 835 processor. Lots of different artifacts now, flashing graphics. Um, if you like what you see, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and I shall see you next time.